What are the foods that give you the most nutrients per dollar? Someone's going in a pink sweater. Soka would like everyone to see her pretty pink sweater. I did this really fascinating analysis for my book, Nutrivore where I calculated a measurement of nutrients per dollar for a hundred different foods, which is kind of a different way of thinking about the price of foods. Not just how, how much do I get to eat per dollar or how many calories per dollar, but how much vitamins and minerals, antioxidant phytonutrients, proteins, fiber, heart healthy fats per dollar. So the full analysis is in my book in chapter 11, but why don't I share some of the best value foods using this metric, nutrients per dollar. So if you think about it, a food that's more expensive but gives you tons of nutrients could fit in this category of high nutrients per price. And a food that's kind of nutritionally underwhelming but is dirt cheap could also fit in this category. I say this to prepare you for some potentially counterintuitive results. I also want to mention that I did this analysis using national average prices from 2023. Most of our recent increase in grocery prices had already occurred by then. So like eggs, not in the good category, but they literally would have been if I'd done the analysis like three months earlier. But also uh, th these results are subject to change. Okay, uh, best value foods in terms of nutrients per dollar. Coffee, crazy nutrient dense because it has so many polyphenols, but also some vitamins and some fiber for only like two calories per cup. And the average price on my spreadsheet is about $8 a pound. So obviously whether or not the coffee you buy would actually fit in this category, it depends, it depends. And if you prefer tea, it's also on this list. Also lots of nutrients per dollar, spinach, kale, garlic, dry beans, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, pumpkin, potatoes, and bananas. Maybe we, maybe we just shifted into surprises. Okay, some other surprises. Also on this list is cocoa powder, watermelon, and pineapple. In terms of protein foods, we already got dried beans, but also mussels, more expensive, but crazy nutrient dense, whole turkey and chicken legs. Milk is on this list, and so is all-purpose flour. Less nutrient dense, but very cheap per pound. So yeah, obviously nutrients per dollar is not the only thing that you want to think of when you're buying groceries on a budget. And like mussels, even if there's lots of nutrients per dollar, are still just a lot of dollars. So one way to use this list is to look at the best value foods in terms of nutrients per dollar and still pick from those the cheapest foods. But I love when math reveals something that I wouldn't have guessed. And that's what this analysis did.